just talk to us a little bit about the Trump and talk about about what Trump talked about in the meeting. You know, it was mostly kind of a replay of uh, Donald Trump's greatest hits. Uh, it was a a lot of discussion about the election. Obviously, it's a time when you take a victory lap. Uh, he called out a lot of people uh, to congratulate. Uh, and he introduced, of course, Susie Wiles and Elon Musk. And uh, of course, you can imagine Elise Stefanik got a huge uh, deal. So it was much more that. We didn't really talk substantive policy. He did urge us to stick together as a caucus, to hang together. The move made it very apparent how supportive he was of Speaker Johnson. So, and our, frankly, our whole leadership team speak, uh, singled out Scalise and Emmer. So, uh, you know, I think it was more uh, just a reminder to the troops to hang together, get things done. He intends to move pretty fast and, you know, strap it up and get ready. Did Trump say anything about government funding? No, he didn't. He really didn't get into policy issues at all. I, I thought he might, uh, but he didn't. Uh, yeah, he did. He did talk about them in terms of uh, uh, he thought they would be terrific in this uh, government efficiency and funding reform, uh, but there wasn't any specific agenda associated with that, just a recognition that he'd made that name. He thought he had great people there. And did he talk anything about the policy that more Really did not. Uh, you know, again, I think this was much more a unity speech, a congratulatory speech. Uh, uh, singled out, well, again, quite a few of the members that he'd worked to try and help, which he did. He may, I mean, we wouldn't be in the majority without him. So it was much more, I think, unify, respect. I'm going to be around a lot. I'm going to come see you guys a lot. But we didn't get into much policy. And what do you think he meant by his remarks suggesting this is his last chance or this is his last run? He's his I think he's just having a little fun. You know, uh, I, I, look, this. The Constitution is pretty clear here. This is the last run, unless it was a constitutional change. Uh, I don't. That takes three quarters of the states and uh, two thirds of Congress to move it through to submit to the states. So, not likely to happen. But uh, uh, you know, I remember. I'm old enough to remember Ronald Reagan teasing a little bit about that. So it's not unusual, particularly now, right after a big win. And then the last question: Now that Trump has sort of do you, think you know, I feel like he has all the way along. He's made it uh, apparent throughout the campaign how much uh, he thinks of the speaker, how supportive. They have worked together. They have traveled together. I think he sees him as probably more of a partner uh, than anybody else uh, could have been, except maybe McCarthy. They were always close. So it's, it's pretty clear. I mean, you know, we've got several good candidates for conference chair, but the top three guys uh, the president supports, nobody's opposing them. And the other one, there wouldn't be any opposition for Elise either if she were running again. So I think it's a pretty unified party today. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you.